You might assume that this is OpenAI's ChatGPT app, but in reality, it's Llama 3, which I'm operating from my personal machine. Today, I'll demonstrate how to run large language models locally and privately at no cost by using just a few lines of code. You'll need some tools to get started. First, you'll require Olama, an excellent open source tool for running large language models locally. Additionally, you'll need Docker, a software that enables applications to run within containers, allowing them to function regardless of your operating system. Finally, we'll also need OpenWeb UI, a great open source tool making it simpler to interact with large language models. Now let's look at the setup. Olama is the software required to interface with large language models such as Llama, Gemini or Mistral. While there exist other tools that offer similar functionality, I find Olama to be the most straightforward option. Normally, you'd use a command line interface or CLI to talk to these models in Olama, but that might not be familiar territory if you're new to it. That's where OpenWeb UI comes in. It lets you run Olama and access all those large language models through a friendly web interface, so you don't have to deal with CLI commands. To ensure operating system independence and avoid developing separate software versions for each operating system, the Open Web UI developers use Docker containers that contain all necessary dependencies and requirements for Open Web UI to function properly. This approach ensures consistent operation of Open Web UI across platforms including Mac, Linux, and Windows. When you set up Open Web UI, it connects to Olama on your local machine and lets you access all the LLMs you've got downloaded there. Now let's move on to the installation process. The first step is to install Olama on your local machine. Details on this process can be found in a prior video, which will be linked in the description. So we will proceed to step two. Next, we must install Docker. To do so, visit the Docker website and download the application for your operating system. I'll demonstrate the process on a Mac. Once you've downloaded the file, locate it in your Downloads folder and initiate the installation by dragging it to the Applications folder. As with any software installation, you will require admin privileges to complete this step if your user account is not an administrator on your Mac, therefore enter the administrator's username and password. Next, use Spotlight Search to locate the Docker app on your Mac and complete the setup process. Accept the user agreement, use the recommended settings to get started and click Finish. You'll then see a screen that welcomes you to Docker. You can skip the welcome survey at this point and you're done. Docker is successfully installed on your Mac. You can verify this by noticing the new Docker icon on your menu bar, which indicates that Docker is running. Step 3. Install Open Web UI in a Docker container. Now that we have both Olama and Docker installed, we need to install Open Web UI. However, instead of downloading it to our local machine, we'll be installing it within a Docker container. To do this, head over to the OpenWeb UI repository on GitHub. I'll leave the link in the description. Scroll down to the installation section and copy the command you see there. This is the command you need to install OpenWeb UI in a Docker container, including all dependencies. Next, open any terminal application. I'll be using the terminal app on my Mac and paste the command you copied from the website. Please note that depending on your internet connection, this may take some time. Once the installation is complete, you can verify that everything was installed correctly by opening the Docker app on your local machine, where you should see Open Web UI installed in a Docker container. 
To access Open Web UI, navigate to this URL in your browser. I will include the link in the description. This URL remains consistent, so it's a good idea to bookmark it and save it to your favorites for future reference. You'll see a login screen and since this is the first time using Open Web UI, you'll be prompted to sign in. So let's go through the sign-up process and create a new admin user. You'll be prompted to provide your full name, email address and password. Keep in mind that this information won't be validated or stored externally. It will solely remain on your local machine. As a result, you can enter any email address and password without concern for security, as long as you choose one that you'll remember for future sign-ins. You can add more users later and modify their roles, but this initial user will serve as the administrator. Congratulations! You are now ready to use Open Web UI. When first accessing Open Web UI, you will have to select a model first. I have previously downloaded these models through Olama directly. I'll show you how to download additional ones later. For now, I will choose the Phi 3 model, which is a new, very powerful and fast model provided by Microsoft. After choosing the model, you'll see example prompts displayed below that you can click on to begin chatting. Additionally, you have the ability to attach images or files for multimodal interactions with certain models like Lava. You can enter your message as you normally would or utilize voice input if it's supported by your browser. Let's start with something simple such as what can you do for me? The response is quick. Now you can edit the question, modify the response, rate the response, hear it read aloud, have the model continue generating the response, or if you're not satisfied with the answer, regenerate it. Additionally, you can download your entire conversation into a file and store it as a text file or PDF file for future reference. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see your chat history, where every subsequent chat will be stored for easy retrieval. This sidebar also houses a lot of the functionality for the Open Web UI, including creating new chats, accessing model files, prompts and documents. These are amazing features that do deserve their own video, so I will not go into it here. At the bottom of the screen, Clicking on your profile takes you to the admin panel where you can create and delete users. To add a new model, navigate to the model selection and search for the model you're interested in. For detailed instructions on finding available models, I recommend checking out my video on installing Olama, where I cover this topic. For example, let's say I want to find the Mistral model. I can simply type Mistral into the search bar and Open Web UI will display an option to pull Mistral from olama.com. This means that the model will be downloaded directly from the Olama website to your local machine via the Olama application. This process may take some time to complete. Once it's finished downloading, you'll see the newly added model listed in the drop-down menu as a potential choice for your AI-powered chat session. To exit Olama Web UI, you can simply close the browser window. However, keep in mind that Open Web UI is running within a Docker container. If you no longer need it, it's a good idea to stop the Docker session to avoid consuming unnecessary resources. To do this, open the Docker app. Locate the container hosting Open Web UI and click the Stop button. If you want to access Open Web UI again in the future, don't forget to restart the Docker container by clicking the Play button. Only then will you be able to access Open Web UI in your browser once more. With this setup, you're now able to run a vast array of models directly on your machine, utilizing the Open Web UI interface 
all without relying on internet connectivity or worrying about data privacy concerns. And best of all, it's completely free. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.